Nuclear-Powered Sky Hotel A nuclear-powered sky hotel is a theoretical concept of a hotel that is suspended in the sky and powered by nuclear energy. The idea of a nuclear-powered sky hotel is quite futuristic and raises many questions about its feasibility, safety, and environmental impact. The use of nuclear energy to power the hotel raises concerns about safety and environmental impact. Nuclear reactors produce radioactive waste that is difficult to dispose of and the risk of accidents or radiation leaks is high. Additionally, the impact of such a hotel on the environment and local wildlife is unclear and requires further study. Such a hotel would require advanced technology to be built and maintained. The hotel would need to be constructed using strong and lightweight materials that can withstand the harsh environmental conditions of the upper atmosphere. UAV Drone A UAV drone, also known as an unmanned aerial vehicle or a drone, is an aircraft that can be flown without a pilot on board. UAV drones can be controlled remotely by a pilot on the ground or they can be programmed to fly autonomously using predefined flight paths and GPS coordinates. UAV drones come in a variety of shapes and sizes, ranging from small quadcopters that can be flown indoors to large fixed-wing aircraft that can stay in the air for extended periods of time. They are powered by batteries or gasoline engines, and some models can fly at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour or more. As UAV drone technology continues to advance, it is likely that they will become even more versatile and widely used in a variety of industries and applications. However, there are also concerns about privacy and safety issues surrounding the use of UAV drones, particularly in densely populated areas. Speeder Flying Motorcycle Jetpack Aviation JPA, introduces the speeder, its flying motorcycle, expecting to be commercially available by 2023. Some years ago, the Speeder was designed as a flying vehicle for the military, government, and commercial clients to rescue and save lives. Now, it comes as a recreational version for personal transport with a fully VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing, technology able to effectively lift off anywhere at a space taken up by a small car. The vehicle by Jetpack Aviation, see more here, is fully stabilized minimal pilot training is needed and lighter than a 125 cubic centimeters motorcycle while is simpler to fly than any other aircraft in its class furthermore it will be able to fly up to 240 kilometers per hour and take off and land vertically from almost any place following intensive tests the speeder will be offered in two different versions the ultralight uvs and the experimental category version evs Falcon Heavy Animation The Falcon Heavy has the ability to lift into orbit up to 64 metric tons, 141,000 pounds, which is more than twice the payload capacity of the next largest launch vehicle currently available. It consists of three Falcon 9 rocket cores strapped together, providing a total of 27 Merlin engines that generate over 5 million pounds of thrust at liftoff. Falcon Heavy is a super heavy lift launch vehicle developed by SpaceX, a private American aerospace manufacturer and space transportation services company founded by entrepreneur Elon Musk. The Sea Pods Sea Pod is the world's first eco restorative float house. The house of the future, which also happens to be the world's first eco-restorative float house, will help city dwellers live an alternative lifestyle, more in harmony with nature, with a reduced footprint and more luxury amenities, and with unparalleled views. The Sea Pod is billed as the first eco-restorative float house in the world, with multiple functionality because its location near the coastline. It is, if you will, the next-gen float house. The idea of building homes on water is not new, in fact, 
there are at least a dozen startups that suggest this type of residences as a means to address the issue of rising seawater levels and the dangers it poses to the coastline. What Seapod brings new to the table is the promise of a luxurious, smart home that will also be affordable. Pal V Liberty the Pal-V Liberty is a combination of a three-wheeled car and an autogyro, or gyroplane, under development by Pal-V of the Netherlands. Both a driver's license and an autogyro pilot's license are required to operate the vehicle. The Pal-V aircraft holds two, two passengers and the pilot needs to have a pilot's license and a driver's license and to fly slash drive the Pal-V aircraft. And one needs to land or take off at an airfield or small strip of land. It takes between 5 to 10 minutes to switch from driving to flying mode and vice versa. There are two separate engines, one for flight and one for the car mode. Max speed 160 kmh, about 100 miles per hour. Top speed acceleration, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, less than 9 seconds, 0 to 62 miles per hour. Engine power 100 horsepower. Fuel economy 7.6 L slash 100 km. Range 1,315 kilometers, 817 miles. Neuralink Brain Chip Neuralink is a company founded by Elon Musk that is focused on developing implantable brain machine interfaces, BMIs, or brain chips. The company's goal is to merge human brains with artificial intelligence, AI, in order to enhance human capabilities and create a symbiotic relationship between humans and machines. The Neuralink brain chip has the potential to revolutionize the field of neuroscience by allowing researchers to study the brain in unprecedented detail and develop new therapies for a wide range of neurological disorders. In addition, the chip could allow individuals to control computers or other devices directly with their thoughts, enabling a new level of human-machine interaction. The Neuralink brain chip, also known as the Neuralink device, is a small implantable chip that is placed directly into the brain through a minimally invasive surgical procedure. The chip consists of thousands of tiny electrodes that can detect and record the electrical activity of neurons in the brain. He <laughs> Emblem Train French urban design studio Hihi have envisioned a series of artistic interventions within Paris, recontextualizing mobility as urban railroad surfing vehicles of the future. The train project is an ongoing body of speculative investigation into the language and aesthetics of transport culture. The artists propose personal rail travel as a temporary, imaginary solution to question our industrialized conscience in relationship to locomotion. Metronome is a prototype of Hihi's train project seen as an artistic research into the development of temporary, autonomous vehicles on railway tracks offering personal transportation, which revisits the poetry movement within a metropolis. The design makes the antithesis of the rail industry. It is light, ephemeral, and slow. Metronome provides a picturesque journey, alone in pairs on the abandoned paths of La Petite Sincha. The vehicle is electric and charges with solar panels, unfolding to the public thanks to its platform and mobile and portable signal system. Oceanix Busan Renderings of the world's first prototype floating city, Oceanix Busan, have been unveiled. The vision is to create a place to live that adapts to rising sea levels off the coast of South Korea. New York-based Oceanix led a team of the world's best designers, engineers, and sustainability experts in designing the flood-proof prototype. The Big Jark Ingalls Group and Samu, owned by Samsung, were the lead architects behind Oceanix Busan, which was unveiled at the second UN Roundtable on Sustainable Floating Cities. The inaugural roundtable took place in 2019, where an agreement was made to develop a prototype with a host city, and Busan signed up to become that city in 2021. With its location on the southeastern tip of South Korea's coast, its maritime way of life and its established marine engineering industry, Busan was a natural choice to deploy the floating city prototype. 
Oceanix Busan seeks to provide a breakthrough solution for coastal cities facing severe land shortages compounded by the climate crisis. Aeromobile Aeromobile is a Slovakian company that develops and produces flying cars, also known as rotable aircraft. The Aeromobile flying car is designed to transform from a car into an aircraft in just a few minutes, with wings that fold out from the sides of the vehicle. It is powered by a hybrid engine that can run on both gasoline and electric power, and is capable of reaching speeds of up to 160 km per hour on the road and up to 360 km per hour in the air. The company has developed several prototypes of the Aeromobile flying car, with the latest version being the Aeromobile 4.0. The Aeromobile 4.0 is designed to meet the requirements of both road and air regulations and has undergone extensive testing and certification. The company plans to start selling the Aeromobile flying car to customers in the near future. GAC Barchetta Concept the GAC Barchetta concept is a sports car concept created by Chinese automaker GAC, Guangzhou Automobile Group Company, in collaboration with Italian design firm Pininfarina. The GAC Barchetta concept is a two-seater convertible sports car that features sleek, aerodynamic lines and a low-slung, aggressive stance. The car is powered by an electric powertrain, which gives it a top speed of 124 miles per hour and a range of around 373 miles on a single charge. The car's battery can be charged to 80% capacity in just 10 minutes using fast charging technology. Lazarus LMV 496 Lazarus has unveiled a new bike that is capable of converting into a hover bike. The new bike LMV 496 will cost around $134,074.39 initially. The French automotive company has decided to make only five prototypes of the bike. Later on, LMV 496 will be up for sale. By the time the bike is on the road, its electric motor will be functional and will go up to 60 miles on a single charge. When the bike lifts in the air, it uses four jet propulsion engines, giving the bike up to 10 minutes of flight time. Monowheel Bike A monowheel, or uniwheel, is a one-wheeled single-track vehicle similar to a unicycle. It is not the most stable vehicle, could not carry more than one passenger in addition to the driver, and suffered from a number of other insurmountable design problems. But the mono wheel can be a fun vehicle to drive because the mono wheel has good speed strong grip and relatively superior stability on the ground making it good on hill climbing using its three legendary parts will provide good gameplay on time trials mojo lens mojo lens incorporates a micro display and a wireless communication system into a contact lens that can be worn on the eye the lens uses a series of tiny sensors and algorithms to track our movements and interpret user intent, allowing for a seamless and intuitive user interface. Mojo Lens is a smart contact lens being developed by the company Mojo Vision. It is designed to provide users with a discreet and hands-free way to access information and applications without the need for a separate device. <laughs>